Like prize fighters entering a ring, they came to the paddock. First, the Easterner, easy goer. Then the pride of the West Coast, Sunday Silence. They had met three times with Sunday Silence winning the Derby in Preakness and Easy Goer taking the Belmont. Both riders were masters of strategy. Pat Day on Easy Goer and Chris McCarron on Sunday Silence. The training matchup. McGahee managed Easy Goer and the Bald Eagle guided the California horse. Easy Goer was the favorite at odds of one to two. And his rival, Sunday Silence, second choice in the wagering, he was two to one. The tension in both camps was visible with three million dollars, horse of the year, and the three-year-old title on the line. They're standing in line. Sunday silence breaks alertly. Easy goer was off a step slow toward the inside. Slew City Slew, blushing John in present value. And they're passing us now for the first time. Slew City Slew is out to take the early lead now. And he's opened up a quick lead here of two and a half lengths. Blushing John is second on the outside. Present value is third. Sunday silence is rating in fourth position. He's six lengths off the lead. Me Selecto is seventh. Four lengths back to Easy Goer. He is ten lengths off the lead of Slew City Slew as they move into the first turn and the trailers are crypto clearance and western playboy slew city slew and he zipped the opening quarter in 22 and two fifth seconds a brazen display of early speed in this mile and a quarter classic Blushing John is tracking him as they make their way on to the back stretch now. Sunday Silence poised on the outside third. Present value to his inside. Then Me Selecto. Easy goer is yet to do his best running. He is still nine lengths off the lead of Slew City Slew. He's five lengths behind Sunday Silence. And now he's beginning to roll. They've run a half mile in 46 and one-fifth seconds. Slew City Slew weakening on the lead. Blushing John has been tracking him all the way. Sunday Silence breaks for the oncoming power of Easy Goer, who's right at his neck, and the stage is set with three furlongs to run in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Blushing John taking the lead, three-eighths of a mile out. It's Blushing John in front. Sunday Silence on the outside, gearing up now. He's left Easy Goer two and a half lengths behind. They're coming to the top of the stretch, and Blushing John is under a hand ride. He leads by a length and a half. Sunday Silence, a threatening presence on the outside. Easy Goer is set down, and he's put to a fierce drive. Coming to the final furlong, Sunday Silence surges to the front. Blushing John trying to fight back. Easy Goer with one final acceleration, and Sunday Silence holds on, and he wins by a desperate neck. Easy Goer was too late, not enough to win it, and it was Sunday Silence in a racing epic. Now, Easy Goer, number one, moves outside Sunday Silence. And I thought from here on, the two would probably be within a length of each other the rest of the way in the race. But Sunday Silence will have the most acceleration here. And you see him begin to pull away from Easy Goer and set sail for the leaders. Blushing John has taken the lead. And Sunday Silence now passes the tiring Slough City Slough as they come to the top of the stretch. You just saw Angel Cordero look behind him to see if anything was coming. And yes, indeed, Sunday Silence is. Now into the lane, Blushing John under the whip on the inside. Sunday Silence on the outside, and Easy Gore surprisingly has a lot to make up. Sunday Silence now has the lead. McCarron cocks his whip. He sneaks a peek under his arm. There, he looked at Easy Gore. He knows Easy Gore is gaining, but he's got enough horse to last. The tactical speed of Sunday Silence proved the difference again. The championships were his, and followers of Easy Gore were left to wonder about what might have been.